All right, so I'm going to show you how to build a quadrat around a collection point that, you, where, that you've made when you did your water collection, all right? Um, so this is just how to draw the quadrat. The, what you'll need, you'll need Google Earth and you'll need Microsoft Word. And you need to go to Google. You need to Google graph paper under images. Select probably the first one that comes up, which is Wiki Commons, graph paper, view image, and then save the image as, and save it somewhere safe, where you know you can find it again when we go to get it. Okay, so I've saved mine already. All right, going to Google Earth then. The first thing you need to do is go to one of the coordinates that I sent you in this list. So we'll go to Bang Talat and go to the search box at the top here. Okay, and that's going to take us to the location. Do check that you've gone to a realistic location. If you accidentally delete a number here, you might end up in a different country, different biome entirely. So we are on the Chow Praia River. And these are your coordinates. All right, so I'm going to rename this so it's not so obtrusive. Hopefully, I'm going to rename it. Go properties, and uh, it was called um, is it called Dalat Bang Dalat. Okay, there it is. All right, I'm going to make a transect, a quadrat, which is um, 100 meters wide. So to do that, I'm going to take my ruler, and I'm going to measure 50 meters. So I click once, just click out. It's going to draw that. Now I can change this by zooming in, and here, Make sure you're on meters over here. Sometimes the default is centimeters. You want 50 meters in from the side of the river. Okay, so that's 100, about 50 meters. Getting there and almost there. And the more you zoom in, the more precise you can get with this measurement, all right? Now you want it to be straight, so no jaggedy lines. Nice straight line. 50 meters. And you can spend a lot more time, obviously, on this than I'm going to right now, otherwise I'll bore you entirely. Let's see if we can get that closer. There, that's pretty close. Okay, can we get it straight? Okay, so I've got that. I'm going to zoom out again bit. And now I'm actually going to do a screen print of this area. Okay, so I'm going to use my clipping tool over here, um, which is in Windows 8, but you can use whichever method you have of doing a screen print. So I'm going to copy that, take it over to a document in Microsoft Word, and paste it. Right. Now, I'm going to put some graph paper overlay on here. To do a graph paper overlay, I'm going to insert a square shape. My shape must be square or my graph paper will end up warped. To keep it square, I hold down the shift key and pull my square out. Now, it's going quite slowly whilst I'm doing this um, screencast here, but let's see if I can get it to finish doing that. So yours will go much faster than this. Okay, there it is. Now I'm going to right click on it. And format shape. Now for formatting the shape I'm going to make the shape a picture. 
I'm going to choose a file and I'm going to choose the graph paper. Right? So insert the graph paper. Now, when you insert your graph paper, it's probably going to look like this or it could look like, um, depending on graph paper, if you've got this GIF graph paper like this. So you want to increase the transparency on it. Okay, and there we go. So now I can see the graph paper, but I can also see the map behind it. So let's close format picture. Now I'm going to draw my quadrat, and I'm using that ruler as a guide, and I can see that how many squares this ruler is in length. So this is half the length of my quadrat. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, at 12.5. 12 so then we're going here. So 1, 2, so let me just go insert shape here. 12 and a half, so half, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm going to come 12 and a half, so it's 25 spaces, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 25. Okay. Now, if I put this right over the middle, where I think the middle is, I can't see anything underneath it again. So I go back to my format shape, I increase the transparency, and now I can move this into being exactly this center point, being 12 and a half in, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 and a half in, and I know I've got a perfect square. Okay, so from here then, I could in fact delete my graph paper, right and now I'm going to calculate the urban density index around that water collection site using the method that Miss Ferguson is going to show you on her screencast.